Hi folks, um, here's the, the boiler, now it's finished. Um, I've lugged it with cherry wood and I've used uh, 10 mil strips and the, um, the copper bands I've made out of 3 sixteenths brass wire and I've just uh, 10 BA nuts and bolts there just to hold them together put four bands because I thought it looks quite nice and um, there's the Anton Christian engine um, next job really is to um, get a base which I'll probably make out of um, brass or copper depending on what I've got in the shed and then I can work out the rest of the pipe work um, I'm going to get the uh, the chimney I'll get stove enamelled um, because it just gives it that extra quality and um, get it professionally done it doesn't change colour so it's, you know, it's better to get it done right so, and that's the boiler finished so I hope you like that Um, here's a steam whistle. Um, it's a um, quarter by f 40 TPI thread, and um, I just put um, a union nut on there, and then that'll basically just screw into here onto the top of the boiler. So that'll just unscrew onto there, like that. Now, with new boilers, you have to be careful because the threads are very soft. So, be very careful when you're um, screwing anything in. Um, in fact, um, if you can just put a bit of PTFP tape um, round the thread, um, that will just help it seat. Okay, so just take the chimney off a minute. I'm just going to do this roughly so you can just see. But the idea is that I want to get it in. So be very gentle with it, really gentle. Okay, because I'm really using no pressure at all to do this. Okay, so I want the lever to be there, so and it's a bit. It's a bit loose, so I'll have to put some tape on that. Basically, that's it. And that's uh, that's what this along. So I hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.